Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again and welcome to my channel. My name is Lena and here in Lena Lore I talk real life beauty. I wanted to quickly show you some new Chanel lip colors that I picked up. Uh, about a month ago, Chanel added a bunch of new fall shades to their popular uh, lip color lines including Rouge Allure Lock and Ink Fusion. I do own a couple of Ink Fusion. I like the formulation for what it is. Basically, it's really lightweight, long-lasting lip stain with a matte finish. And colors are quite gorgeous as well, but it could be a little bit drying depending on my lip condition of the day and depending on the weather as well. So uh, it's not the greatest choice for the winter time, so I skipped on those, but I did pick up a couple of the new shades from the Rouge Allure Lock line. So basically I wanted to uh, show these new colors to you just in case if you're interested in shopping the new colors uh, this season. And because I own five other uh, colors in the same range, uh, in this video I will show you them all collectively. So this little video would become a small reference you know, in terms of the uh, Chanel Rouge Allure Lock colors. So that's the video for today, and if you're interested, please keep on watching. So the colors that I picked up, uh, one is number 84, Rose Ambigu, and the other one is 86, Rouge Cup de Vent. So uh, Rouge Ambigu is a cool-toned uh, rosy color with a tiny bit of like micro shimmer. It's really beautiful and appropriate for fall. I'm gonna uh, show you uh, photo swatches including my arm swatches and lip swatches at the end of the video but uh, here I'm just gonna show you the live swatches. So this is the Rose on Begu and I'm gonna apply it on my uh, lips. It's quite pigmented and I think it's quite flattering on my complexion as well. So this is the uh, Rose Ambigu. The next one is number 86, Rouge Cop de Vent, and this is a very beautiful, cool-toned, vibrant red. It's a gorgeous shade, but I am a little bit disappointed uh, to see that this shade is very close to the one I already own. I own the clear like red shade Invincible. If you take a look at them with a very willing, curious eye, you'll probably uh, spot the difference. I would say this new shade 86 Rouge Cove de Vent, has a hint of purple and it has more opaque base. Um, on the other hand, Invincible is more like a clear, fresh red, but once the color settles in and, um, you know, it, it doesn't really look that different. I'll show you later, but anyway, let me go ahead and apply this beautiful red color on my lips. So there you have it. I guess it's tad bluer, you know, compared to the Invincible, but it's just cool toned red. So if you own Invincible, I don't think uh, you need this. I mean, it's nice to have uh, beautiful reds in my collection, but it's not very different, not to my eyes. So that's the two new shades that I picked up this time and now I'd like to show you my existing collection. I will show you from the lighter color and move up to uh, the darker colors because uh, these colors tend to stain your lips a little bit. It's not terrible but it does stain uh, the lips a little bit. So the first color that I like to show you is number 64 Exigence and this is a very pretty uh, easy to wear pinky nude with a hint of peach.
So that's the uh, exigence. And it's not too light. So if you're looking for some nude uh, mild lifts but better color, that doesn't uh, wash you out. This will be a perfect shade. So next one is number 69, Remnants. And this is a vibrant pink with hint of something. I don't think it's coral, but it's like a really bright. It has hint of neon or something really brightening shade. So let me show you. So this is the Remnants, and I think it's perfect for springtime. Really useful, you know, complexion brightening pink that is not quite red, I guess. Next one is the number 73, Invincible. This is a classic cool red with a clear base. Very beautiful. Um, amazing shade but you will see this is quite close to the new red color that I picked up. Okay, so what do you think? This is Invincible. And um, it just saturated, cool toned red, really beautiful. So I don't mind having practically two of them, but I wish that, you know, the new color was a little bit more different. But anyway, this is the Invincible. Next one is number 77, Dark Blossom. I believe this is a limited edition color that was a part of the last spring collection, but I think it is still available on the Chanel website if you're interested. This is a uh, muted brown pink with some visible shimmer. This one is quite sheer compared to other colors and initially I quite disliked this color thinking that it kind of makes me look worse or something but uh, when this color is paired with some reddish eye makeup it looks really complimenting and quite beautiful so I've grown to like this shade. Last but not least this is number 80 Timeless. It's really beautiful uh, berry shade, saturated cool berry shade. I love this color. So that's it for today. I hope you find these swatches and comparison helpful and I would love to know if you are planning to pick up any of these new shades yourself. So do let me know in the comment box below and ask away if you have any other questions. Thank you very much for watching this video and staying with me. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in my next video.